Uh, Kendra Lamar decided to shake the table um, and basically start aiming at that Canadian again. And really? You think that is the biggest story in hip-hop right now at this moment? No, but... <laughs> okay, okay, just, just, all right. Well, I guess we'll get to the second, to the biggest story after this. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, sure. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar started aiming at that Canadian again, and then that Canadian decided he didn't want to, want to you know, the, the next time we saw him in public, he wanted to uh, start talking, you know, get, giving speeches like he was having a TED Talk instead of getting in the booth, you know. Um, unfortunately, Kendrick Lamar is not like some old timer or a woman or... You know, a female rapper or anything like that. You know, he may, you know, have got some bars in return. We haven't maybe got him yet. Maybe. But, um, you know, I heard the song. I, I liked the song. I didn't think it was anything crazy, but it is, you know, kind of a line in the sand. Um, you know, I thought some of Kendrick's, uh, the, the Prince and Michael Jackson metaphors, I didn't necessarily. That one didn't hit for me as much because I'm like, Prince is way more pro- prolific than you. So rather than disappearing for like six years and being a sometimes rapper, um, Cole's my guy in all of this, you know, and I, and I think Cole's just been, you know, steadily consistent and like just firing on all cylinders and waiting for something like this, quite frankly. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, everybody's picking sides now. Like there's the, uh, you know, there's Drake's in, there's everybody, everybody's tracking who's unfollowing who. Um, mm. on Instagram and all that, all that, and I prefer not to know none of that because I don't, I don't need my rappers to be using social media. I need them to get in the booth. That's what I need. <laughs> get in the booth. Don't fuck with me. If y'all want to battle, do it. It's been what nearly fifteen years for some of these guys. They've been on our radar, right? And uh-huh. they've had their whole careers. Nobody's in danger of anything. Everybody's made all their money. Do it for the sport. Turn the mics on. Let's go. Let's see. You know, and, and apparently Kendrick seems comfortable doing that. I just want to know what Drake is afraid of. Well, I mean, it's not like Drake hasn't been involved in some of these things. And also, like, Drake doesn't do the the disc record thing the way that, you know, we would prefer him to do it. So it's like, you already know what you're going to get. He's going to say everything but the person's name. Um, and then go from there if he in fact does that uh, I, I think the thing for me is kind of like most of the notable beasts that we've ever had were people in their 20s Am I, is there anything in, is there any like mid 30s beef that you can think of that was notable historically in, in, in rap Jay, over Jay-Z in our and lifetimes Jay Z and Nas is probably like the oldest They're like, early 30s early, early 30s, 30s yeah early 30s we're talking about Drake, who is what turns thirty-seven or thirty-eight this year. Yeah, we're talking about a bunch of dudes, and we we're talking about a bunch of dudes that are in their, you know, over thirty-five. And for me, it's like, if that's what y'all want, and and like, you know, from what I see, people wanted wanted to see this stuff just out of the diss each other, diss to diss each other. But I'm, I'm like, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, I don't really care one way or the other. I like all three of them as artists. Um, obviously I like Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole more than Drake because I think Drake is, you know, uh, as an artist, I feel like he peaked years and years and years ago. You could argue even a decade ago. I me and Rich have talked about this off air a lot. Like I, you know, I find Drake to be personally like uh if you follow his records, kind of a guy that was like someone that how do I say this? He's a fake nice guy. He's a he's a person that thinks he's a nice guy, and ultimately, when push comes to shove, over and over and over again, he proves he's not a nice guy. But then, as time goes by, he does stuff to try to be like, well, I, you know, we squashed the beef, me and Meek. What, you know, whatever. Let let's let him live. Let's let him breathe. And all that kind of stuff. I've embarrassed shit out of him, you know. And it's like, but that that, that only benefits you to keep up this this facade you have of thinking you're still a nice guy. When it's like, nah, man, you're not. And um, it's just. You know, for, so for me, I've, I've I've checked out on him, and I checked out on him quick before. Like I was saying, like I, I think he is, you know, not reached a certain level from what people think his talent is. Years before people start having, like I think me and Rich were off of him by the time hell second album, right? 
I would say views for me, where I was like, well, all right, well, I'm well, doing. Views were like, okay, I'm sorry, let me phrase it. Views were when you were like, it's never happening. He's yeah. never dropping a classic. Yep. Me, I was like, hey, bro, he, I don't like some of the stuff he makes, and I don't like his get down. So, like, if people like it, cool. But, like, I, I Singles Drake is more of my, uh, is more of my taste in actual album Drake. So, you know, um, it, so I, I've, I've, I've been really disillusioned with him for a long time, you know, at this point, you know, over a decade. Uh, Kendrick, super talented. He, you know, I, to Pippa Butterfly, to Pippa Butterfly kind of just left me kind of like, uh, I don't love as much as I love Mad City, but, um, you know, uh, Dan was like, okay, I, I, I that was just wasn't for me. That one wasn't for me. But like this one is back on track for my for what I want out of uh, Kendrick Lamar and uh, Cole. Cole just consistently gives me, you know, his albums are always different. But like, depending the time they hit, like he's really good with timing. And for a person that doesn't drop that often, it's really impressive. Well, obviously, he drops more to Kendrick at this stage, but it's really impressive how he always like, seems to kind of be away from everything and know how to be his own person, do whatever he's doing in his own role. And then like it hits at, at the right time, almost every single time. You know what he does? It's really impressive. It's really impressive. You know what he does? He does a bunch of songs with people that are way sorrier than him. Like, and, he, well, I mean, and, and what yeah. he does is That's like, great. And he, and he cleans them the fuck up and then everybody goes crazy for the features or whatever. And it's like, all right, man, the feature, want, the feature, the features helps him in, say in the limelight it, as far as be like, you know the new, you know that Cole Cole got got to have some, you know, around the corner, like when he does stuff with, with Savage or, or whoever else, and it's, it's you know, or when he did, did the London with, uh, with with Thug, yeah, you know, or it's, Yachty. it's really impressive. Yeah, yeah, it's really impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah Yachty thing was what this year, right? Yeah, or last year. Yeah, and then, like like yeah. you pull Yachty on this song, I was just like, all right, man, I see what you're doing. Like, <laughs> like you pulling that man in the deep end with a blindfold on. What you doing? Stop playing. But yeah, man. Um. You know, Dirk, Dirk was last year, right? Yep, him too. Yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah, man. Uh, I, I, I personally, I think I, I would love to see it between Cole and Kendrick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Drake, I have less interest in, but uh, you know, he he's gone into battle before. You know, it didn't work out well for him. Uh, yeah. he oh, he was time, yeah. the, the the Russian was forever cut on that, and you know. I, I think he's a lot more bothered by all this than anyone. Um, yeah, because yeah, he definitely is because you know he is the there, one. There, there was a question that came out. I, I did want to answer though. Like, okay, Floyd said, uh, "Does Drake have anything to gain?" Drake has everything to gain because he's constantly the only one that's questioned. Whether it's about his ghostwriting, you know, in the past, whether it's about you know whatever the fuck he wants to put out at a given time when essentially he got bullied uh the, his last release into putting some some type of rap stuff on there, something worth a damn. And then it came in the form of like a bonus, you know, to the album with like six more songs or whatever. Like, if you want to step in the ring, like you can. He can. He has the. He has a chance to earn whatever may be out there, respect wise for him. And he cares okay. about that stuff. He okay, may, so from he may Floyd's not act from, like it. From Floyd's, oh, I mean, he definitely cares about it. But like from Floyd's perspective, I, he's probably looking at it as well. I mean, he's a top guy. He's most commercially successful. Will you know him losing a rap battle like hurt him? And it's like, nah, he lost a rap battle really bad before, and it didn't matter. Like he's 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 bulletproof in that kind. Of, it's like, well, you're gonna beat up the, you're gonna beat up the guy that like literally makes music to say he's sensitive and soft. That's what it is. Like you can't like that's the hard. That's the reason why like the push T thing hit so hard because like he's the emotional guy that's supposed to be more emotionally mature than everybody else. Yet he is basically like looking like a deadbeat out here. That that's in his in the majority of his fan base are Exposed women. He's like he's like wait a second, you have a you have a child that you, that you have not like shown off to the world and then he did that line to be, make people be like if you're dumb you fall for it yeah. but so for me um like when it comes to drake thing i'm not as as far as he has everything to gain but like he does have something to gain for like the people that you know don't put him at the level of the all-time greats for the reasons of doesn't have a classic album necessarily that's like going to stand the test time or be like the best album of a decade he doesn't have one of those necessarily um or not necessarily doesn't um does so many genres of music besides rap when rap was what brought people to the table with him and every he wants to try this other stuff and he wants to be a pop star and 
that's no, there's nothing wrong with being a pop star, but it also doesn't get you the respect of people that he literally wants, right? Like, so you know, the Joe Buns of the world, the Pusha T's of the world, like the the guys that have been, you know. He don't rap over beats by conductor. He he doesn't rap over conductor beats to be out here like, oh, I don't care. Like <laughs> so yeah. Um so like it's so for him, like it, it is a thing of he has it's it's like there's a lot of uh similarities to like the WWE fan and like Drake Psyche is like you got all you made they're making all this money. Uh people are watching them, they're highly successful. They don't get the critical acclaim, and, and it drives them. Their fucking focus nuts. and their and their focus on the critical on them not getting the critical acclaim is like, bro, like, do you want the Transformers money or not? Do you want the uh, do you want the Fast and Furious money or not? Because it looks like all you've done your whole career has been going after that fast money, and it's worked more successfully than anybody else ever in this in this game. But now you also want your props as like. Being this this certain level of Mount Olympus rapper, and it's like you haven't necessarily showcased that in one collection of music in that way, and that's and that's fine because I never because it doesn't seem like for me it's like that's fine because it doesn't seem like that's what you're actually after. But like once he keeps going at this stuff of these little things hurting hurting his feelings, it's like oh you want you want it all, but it's like you don't maybe isn't for the one at all. You can't you you can't both ways. So um. From Jake's perspective, if he steps up to the plate and he, you know, were to vanquish a, uh, a, a Kent Lamar, vanquish, beat Kent Lamar, beat a J. Cole in a. That would a, be like the most battle, shocking, like. It would. It would. It really would. Like. <laughs> Especially if, with if, the, way we, he, the, the way we do Beast now. Because, bro. like, the way we do Beast now is like we go into these personal things where people basically, like, gather information, like they're, like they're fucking feds, and then rap, or, and then rap exposing people as opposed to just saying, like, hey, I think I'm better than you because you've had these missteps in your career with the music you've made or, you know, blah, 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 or, and then go on from there. Like the point, these points of the base and beefs now compared to when we were kids are totally different. Yeah. Totally different. Yeah. A like, lot of that stuff when it beef back then was just like simple things of disrespect. Street stuff. Like, and, yeah. yeah. Like, Hey, you, you know, you said that like rap, went, rap got fucked up once to, to the West coast. What the fuck's up with that? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, it, this now stuff is like, Oh, we're fucking the like same there's, chicks. There's, we there's, hang around the same people all the time. It's like, what the fuck do you think is gonna happen? There's, there's like a future Drake chapter of the Fallout too, right? And it's like that's where I was getting to, getting there. It's like, ah, uh, I, I don't, I don't know how I that guy to square that one. Yeah, no, I do not care. I, I'm much future more cannot win. Right. And future's a deadbeat. Right, I, I'm much more interested in like there are no good guys in that one. <laughs> and, he, and he cannot, and he fly, and no, and everybody, and nobody thinks for, and nobody that has a brain thinks that future can out rap Drake. Yeah. We saw a showcase in a, in a 2015 collab album. Yeah, Drake. What what was what was the uh, the scorecard? How many tracks is that? Bro, did Drake did, did he went around? Did he want a track? Bro, maybe two. I I couldn't even tell. It's been so long since I listened to that. There you but go. um, yeah, like, I, you know, th- this could be a mistake. Um, because you know, J Cole is in album mode. He's he, we already know he's got some shit coming. The um. Uh, he's he's dropped like two little mini documentaries. He did a remake of "I'm Ready" on there, which the Dipset shit, which is crazy. Um, yeah, man, I, I I think it should be Cole and Kendrick, but Drake, if he wants to make it interesting, you know, he can go at Kendrick too. Um, Kendrick Lamar is a big boogeyman of rap. I think people have been like terrified of him for years, uh, going all the way back to Control. And yeah. I feel like I don't know, like, what's there to be afraid of? Like, really, like. You know, the guy can rap. Why? Because he's 5'5". Five five? <laughs> there is that. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's what's there to be afraid of? Like, like, all right, you, the, you're a recluse. Like, it, like, like, yeah. it's like every generation. There's there's somebody that's like, yeah, man, people shouldn't fuck with them. And I always have a question: Why? Like, Eminem was the last was last era, right? And I'm like. He you doesn't. Say that. Yeah, I, guess. Bro, I was like, he doesn't ever prove it against anyone worth a damn. He goes at easy targets like pop stars and women uh-huh. and <laughs> and people that think, don't rap back. That, I think a lot of the similarities in that I, I, I never really thought about. It. I think a lot of the similarities in that is like the reclusive part of it. Like they are so they're they're the music that they make is seemingly so like isolated from what is 
like you know the in crowd of of what's on the radio or what's on what's playing on people's you know um playlists or whatever else so it's like that you hear them in their own vacuum and they're incredible and it's like all right do you really want to fuck with it the same thing was like like do you really want to like do you really want to like have some some thing some back and forth thing with like market or with uh with joiner Jordan Lucas is like that dude's fucking incredible, but mm -hmm. it's like he also makes that Eminem music. He makes you know what I'm saying? It's like it's the same thing. Um, it's like, well, what happens when like I do this? Is it's like, well, I don't even want to try that because like, what's the point? Is one yeah. of those. Uh, it's I'll like, tell it's, you it's somebody. Weird, it's almost like a Rubik's cube of how you of your like the the uh, the tactics of how you handle people like that that are so far removed from you know releases. You know, and also you know we'll see what happens with Kendrick Marcus. I think he's off. He's off top dog now, right? Yeah, he's got his own shit now. So, like, he might not be, you know, so far out and removed because, like, the top dog thing is, like, you know, they have SZA and Kendrick Lamar, and, like, between them, think about it, right? SZA got the two albums. Her first album came out, what, 2017? No and Kendrick, idea. Well, uh, um, uh, um, it's it's somewhere around 16 or 17, right? So it's two albums in, in eight years, some shit like that. Uh, And then, like, with Kendrick Lamar, his albums are, you know, not including Session 80, but like, you know, Good Kid, To Be Able to Fly, Damn, uh, and the last one just had. That's four albums in a in 12 years. Like, that's... for There's something going on with Top Dog where they're saying, like, we just don't do releases every other year. Like, we we let it breathe for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, and, like, maybe, you know, he got off Top Dog. He's like, hey, I don't, I don't want to do this. So we'll see. We'll see so, how some of this stuff changed up. Like, I remember... Uh, it wasn't Cole's last album. I'm thinking the album before when he based like I want to do like you know I did a lot of the no feature stuff and it was an achievement for me to do no you know the you know no features or whatever else and go and have my success. But like I don't want to be known as this person that didn't work with nobody. And he's you know he's changed that up definitely. Um, so like maybe Kish Lamar wants to get out there and you know and do more records. You know he was you know fucking problem was that was a really good or that was a really big record at the time when it was out. And then like was the last time he had a, a party record with people. Been right, a been a minute. That was 2014. Uh, it's been a decade. Shit, I guess if you want to call that family size shit, but that was more like you know some epic shit than than yeah. anything. But yeah. um, yeah. yeah, I'll tell you a rapper not to fuck with the game. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he don't stop. Like, he don't bro, quit. he don't stop. He's funny. Yes, he'll, he is. He's and funny he'll just and, and he won't stop again. And, and he can rap. Like yeah, those are the type of people for me that be like, hey, stay clear of that. And he's crazy. Like, yeah. and he'll beat you the fuck up. Like, because yeah, it's because it's like he'll he'll he, like he will he will drop three hundred to four hundred bars in you, and then like then he'll knock you. Um, six, he'll look and, for you, and then six months later he'll be like, I'm trying to patch it up, and then like the shit don't get patched up, and then like here's three hundred more bars for you. It's like, bro, this is <laughs> this is a lot. Yeah, this is a lot. He's unstable, but but he ain't sturdy mentally. Yeah, he's just not. Yeah, you know, all these dudes, they're a little too calculated. I need a little bit more, you know, oh, just just aim fire or just ready fire, no aim, you know. Wow. I need some of that. Oh, but wow. um, so 